Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. As you can see here, we are going to do a penny hunt. Just to let you all know, I am feeling a little bit better, so hopefully I am on the mend. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and get into this hunt for you all. And it's going to be a little bit different because it's two boxes. It is customer rolls. Versus bank rolls. So... We will get into these and see which one we find the better stuff in. Alright, so let's go ahead, get into this hunt, and see what we can find. Alright, we're going to get into one of each of these. Um, unfortunately, customer rolls don't have the same advantage as bank rolls do. And I was able to find this, 1958D. So we'll go ahead and do the bank rolls first, see if that tweet ender has any friends. Here's that ender, 1958D, it's the last year of the wheat pennies. Alright, let's see if it has friends. Focus please. There we go. Take a quick peek. doesn't seem to have any friends in this roll, so we'll go ahead and get into the customer roll. Uh-oh, looks kind of new on both ends. Alright, let's see, it kind of got all discombobulated. A lot of new ones in these rolls here. A few coppers. Alright. So far, bank rolls are winning. With one weedy. Alright, I'm going to get into the rest of these. I'm going to do the customer rolls first. And then I'll get into the bank rolls. I'll see you in a minute. finds a couple of really good ones. I did find three Canadians, uh, 99 and 92, and I found one of these bird scents, which I think it's a rock dove from what I've heard that is on here. It's a commemorative, 1867 to 1967. So I really like getting those little bird scents. They're really cute. And then I also got, let's see, a 1974 with an S mint mark. Two 2009s, um, both of them are the formative years. And then I got one that's red. <laughs> I guess it was just spray painted, it's only on one side. Made some money, got a dime. Oops. You know, I didn't even check the date. Let me see. Uh, I think it's like a 94. So I made it, it got a dime. And then there were four. Wheaties. So let's see what these were. We have a 53, a 52 that is in horrible shape, 
a 56D, and a 52D. So only four Wheaties in that ro in those rolls from the customer, but a um, couple other really good finds. All right, I'm going to get into the bank rolls and see what's in them. I'll be right back. bankrolls and it looks like bankrolls wins. I uh, got quite a few finds. Got a handful of 2009s. I found a 1972S and then I also found this beautiful 1969 Philadelphia. It's in excellent shape for as old as it is. Very shiny. And then here are all the weenies that we found. This is the one that you all saw in the very beginning, the 1958D. So let's find out what the rest of these are. We have 53D, a 44, a 57, 56D, <clears throat> another 56D that looks like it's got a little bit of wood grain to it. Pretty cool. A 54D, a 42. A 44, a 55D, a 47D, and a 56. So nothing very old, um, all pretty common dates, but still 13 of them is not bad. And these beautiful coins, this 1969 is so beautiful. All right, well. Like I said, bankrolls win. All right, if y'all like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all next time.